Hi, I'm Matt Savage, Executive Tour Director of the World Poker Tour. How I got started in poker, I was uh, started off as a chip runner. I was a player, a bad player, uh, so I decided to try the other side of it and uh, be a part of the industry. I was lucky enough to, you know, work at a place in San Jose that, uh, you know, was there was definitely some room for movement, but uh, what I really wanted to be was a poker dealer, and uh, I did it for a while, and I loved it, uh, but developed carpal tunnel, and because of that, I ended up going on the floor. Uh, when the tournament director went on vacation at one time, I filled in as an assistant tournament director, and because of that, I became a tournament director, and I, I've loved it ever since. It's been a, a great rise, and obviously, it's been a lot of uh, a lot of luck. You know, you know, being in the right place at the right time, I. Uh, I think that you know, in the early 2000s, late 90s, there was a really a need for um, you know poker tournament uh, to step up, and I think that you know again I found the perfect time, the perfect niche, and you know with everything that was going on with uh, televised poker starting off, I think I just hit it really at the perfect time, and uh, you know got a little fortunate there, but a lot of hard work and uh, persistence I think uh, made my career what it is today. So in the late 90s, I was not only being a tournament director, but I was playing a lot of events around uh, the Bay Area where I lived. And everywhere I went, the rules were different. So um, I really had the goal of trying to standardize something. And I came down to the World Series for the first time ever in 2000 to try and uh, achieve that goal and talk to the tournament directors there to see what happened. Uh, Bob Thompson and his son, Robert Thompson, basically you know, kind of laughed at me a little bit and said that, you know, that has been tried before, there's no way it would ever happen. So I was lucky that I was friends with Linda Johnson uh, and Jan Fisher and Dave Lamb at the time. They had a World Poker Industry Conference. So we attached the uh, first TDA meeting in 2001 uh, on the back end of the World Poker Industry Conference. And out of that, uh, you know, basically started what we have now today with the rules being standardized, uh, not only in the United States, but around the world. Yeah, I mean, the TDA has been involved with, you know, not only poker rooms and poker room directors and tournament directors, but also dealers and poker players. So I think we've taken the input of a lot of different people. Uh, this year we had our TDA summit here at uh, ARIA and, you know, we were very fortunate to, to be uh, given that opportunity to, to have it here. Uh, you know, we're not for profit, we don't uh, charge any money. So everybody that comes here pretty much comes on their own dime. And, uh, you know, it's very lucky that we have a venue like the area to do that. But I think that it's changed over time. Uh, we've really gotten everybody focused on making it the same for everybody. And that was my goal in the, in the beginning, that even if you couldn't uh, live with something or something was done differently than you did it, if you could do it for a standard, that it would be better for the players, it'd be better for the industry, it'd be better for the tournament directors. And I think we've really achieved that with the TDA. If I could pick one thing that, you know, basically started my career would be the Tournament Directors Association, obviously. But I think that, you know, I had a lot of initiatives uh, that I've done over the years. I think I've been really big on structures and being player friendly and adding levels and making things, you know, that, you know, the chips had always been, you know, basically dollar for dollar. But now uh, people are giving more and more chips. I think that we need to go probably go the other way and give less chips because I think we can make great structures with that. But I think we've kind of passed that point. But then I started the re-entry events uh, at the Commerce in uh, 2009, and uh, you know that kind of really changed the whole industry. So I don't know if I'm proud of it because I think that uh, you know some re-entries have gone too far. But I think that would probably be my biggest initiative. But also the structure help. I think that you know some of the things and the rules uh, are all big parts of my career that pretty much set poker uh, tournaments and poker itself on a path that's been better for everybody. It's one of the things I'm most proud of uh, is the fact that I really want to grow the industry uh, and I want to really want to help everybody. You know, a lot of times questions get asked on social media, on Twitter and Facebook, email and text uh, of things that pay players don't know. And, you know, a lot of people on the outside see that and go, well, how could this guy not know that? Well, obviously he's asking a question because of that. So for me to help the new player, the amateur player, the recreational player with rules, I think that's really something that I've looked at my career as, as you know, one of the biggest things I've ever done and I continue to do. You know, it takes a lot of time for my family and my wife, Marianne, and my kids, uh, you know, are, you know, kind of, they are sacrificing quite a bit because I, I do answer questions 24-7 uh, through social media and everything, but I think it's really important to help those that don't know the rules and don't know, you know, some of the procedures that we're doing in the game to learn so that they can come in and feel comfortable the first time coming into a poker room. I think uh, for me now is just about global expansion. You know, the World Poker Tour, we've done some things lately, you know, expanded into China, India, Latin America. You know, those things are huge. If we get those markets to get into the game as much as we have here in the United States and in Europe, 
I think that the game's going to just keep growing, and I'm excited about that because I see it happening already. You know, a partnership that we have with India right now. We're going into Latin America, to Brazil, and Uruguay, and you know, obviously with our connection to China, our parent company being a Chinese company, it's amazing to me that there's so much growth to be done in, the, in poker, and I think it's going to happen.